Greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I am Sister Stella Sherry from the Christ Ministries, India. Today, I bring to you another woman from the Bible. This is a very popular name and you would have heard it in many, many occasions. Many young girls have this name. The name that I wish to introduce to you is Anna. The Hebrew meaning of this name Anna means favor or grace. In fact, in Hebrew, it is more elaborately said to stoop or to bend in kindness and to find and to show favor to others. What a beautiful name is Anna. So who is Anna and where do we read about her in the Bible? In the Bible, the name Anna is recorded in Luke chapter 2 verses 36 to 38. It says that she was a woman of great age. She was a daughter of Phanuel who belonged to the tribe of Asher. And she was a widow who was married just for seven years. And after that, continued to live in the temple with many prayers and fastings, praising God and thanking Him night and day. What else is recorded about Anna? It is said that the, when baby Yeshua was brought to the temple by Joseph and Mary, it was Simeon, the, a devout and pious man, who first revealed the mighty Redeemer's presence and praised him because it was a revelation given to him. And at that instant, Anna also received the revelation that the child Yeshua was the true Redeemer whom all of Israel was waiting for. So you see what a great gift she had. She was a prophet. And it is also recorded that after giving praise and thanks, she shared this to all those who wanted to hear about the Lord, about the Redeemer having come, having been born in Israel. And what a great honor that is. Do you know she is the first missionary in the New Testament? What a great honor. A first woman prophetess in the New Testament and a great missionary. So we have a lot to learn from her. Though regarding her biography, there are only three verses in the Bible. We have a lot to emulate and learn from this great woman of God. So let us see, what is the importance of finding favor or grace from Yeshua? To all the young women, to the young sisters who are listening to this message, see, we must see that Anna had a very great personal tragedy that struck her at a young age. She became a widow and this is just after seven years of marital life. So she must have been married very young. And after seven years, she loses her husband. It's a great personal tragedy. She could have chosen to probably get married again, have children or different things. But there is one thing that she seeked. And what she seeked is the Lord. Young sisters of today, are you going through any personal tragedies in your life? Have you lost your life partner? Are you going through divorce or separation or painful things in your life? Seek Yeshua. Serve Him and all things in your life will be settled because His favor and grace will shine upon you. What else can we learn from this great woman of God? All the senior women who are listening to this message, sometimes when age advances and you have all these body aches and pains and you, your eyesight is diminished and you're not, you feel you are not useful that you cannot move around, you feel hopeless. You think that you've become a burden to your family. Oh, sisters who are seniors sitting there listening to this message, 
Do you think you are useless? Do you think that you are a burden? Please don't think that way. There are so many things that you can do. And the greatest thing is to serve Yeshua. Now you might be thinking, do, how can I travel around? How can I spread the gospel? I can't even move around without the help of somebody else. No, even when you're lying down, you have a heart, you have a mind that thinks and you have lips that move. Sisters, pray. Pray for your family. Pray for your near and dear ones. And pray for the members of your church. Be an intercessor. For whom should you pray? Pray for the evangelists who are going out sowing the seed. You pray for them who are traveling for mission work. Strengthen them with your prayers and the Lord will reveal you great and mighty things in the Bible. You may be on your bed, you may be sitting on your chair, maybe you cannot even lift a pen to write something. Maybe your hands tremble, but your heart is, should be connected to the Lord and that renews your mind. Your mind will be agile and active when you plan to serve the Lord by your prayers. Your prayers are important, my dear sisters. Why do I say this? Oh, there are many people who are yearning to go out there and do so many things. They want prayer support. And you can be that woman of God who has found grace and favor to give prayer support for those people. For those mission works, for those people who go out and spread the gospel where they reach the unreached in villages. So my dear sisters, your prayers are important. Why is it important? Because then you will find a favor and grace from above. The Holy Spirit will give you a fresh anointing and you will speak mysteries. You will have special anointing to be a prophetess. And people will listen to what you say because they know the words are from above. So no more are you useless or worthless. No more are your old age infirmities going to really bring you down. But your prayer will strengthen you. I have sometimes seen women past their age who sit and, you know, spend a lot of time sometimes chatting or talking about worldly things, about gossiping, you know, about other people, other youngsters, how they dress, what happened in other people's families. Those things are not good character or good conduct. There is no need to do that because then you will not find favor or grace in the sight of the Lord. Do not judge the youngsters in your family. No, you have problems what you see as wrong behavior or anything. Immediately seek the Lord. Pray that those behavior which the youngsters are doing or going astray will be corrected because it is Yeshua who corrects. When you are an example in your family as a senior person, the rest of your family will immediately follow and everybody will look up to you as somebody worth emulating. Why? Because you are carrying Yeshua within you. This is what Anna did. Do you know the Bible records her as the first missionary in the New Testament? Because what did she do? The moment the revelation came to her, that she saw the child Yeshua and she, in her heart and in her spirit, she knew that this was the Lord, the Redeemer, the Savior of Israel and the entire mankind. Oh, how her spirit must have jumped with joy. And what did she do? Did she hide all that knowledge within herself? No. Oh, my dear sisters, she shared it to all those who wanted to know this, to all those who were waiting for redemption. So see what an honor she had. Finding favor and grace from above gives you honor. Maybe nobody respects you now, but when you seek the will of God and when you continue to pray, you will receive honor. 
So my dear young sisters and all the senior women out there today, you choose what you want to do today. You can all be Annas, prophetess and also missionary workers by simply serving God with your prayers, by being intercessors. And that is something you can do within the confines of your own homes. Nobody is going to stop you from praying. Nobody is going to stop you from kneeling down. Or nobody is going to stop you from crying out. And this brings grace and your entire generations will be blessed. So today, may Yeshua HaMashiach bless you with these words. Amen.